Hello and welcome to the 25th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at button group dropout variation. We'll be using the source code from the 22nd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a button drop down setup. Bootstrap provides a way for making a drop down drop up instead of drop down. This is useful as you may place a, a drop down in a position on your website where it can't practically drop down or it doesn't look very good if it if you did so making it open up is a great way to overcome this and it's not hard to do it it's the great thing about bootstrap they simplify so many different things so let's open up our project in a text editor aka your index.html and to implement this is extremely simple you just need to add the drop up class to your button group so if we scroll down we've got a button group right here and what you want to do, you just need to add drop up because by default it drops down. Save it, and that's all you need to do. So let's just zoom out of this, minimize, open this up in our web browser. So as you can see, the carrot itself has automatically pointed up. We didn't code anything for that, so it's automatically detected that it's got the drop up class and put it facing up. So if I click it now, comes up and it looks fine there's nothing wrong with it at all the next tutorial will cover input groups if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description as well to see hundreds of more videos like this one for completely for free visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day